Hey folks, it's Trevor for Love Make Share. Welcome back to the workbench. Uh, it's been a while since I've done uh, any kind of video with the workbench. It's been a bit of a disaster lately. But uh, I had something cool, so I wanted to uh, to open it with you and share it with you and, and kind of explain a little bit why I'm excited about it. So this is uh, this is a new notebook, and I'm going to open it up while I'm chit-chatting about it. This is the Rocketbook Wave. Uh, it just had a successful Kickstarter a little while back. Um, for uh, it, it got funded with a little over half a million dollars. Uh, it was billing itself as a connected, uh, cloud connected, microwavable notebook, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the The notion of it is that uh, it's a notebook. It's a very slick notebook. Uh, it comes with an erasable pen. Um, and inside, you've got this kind of dot matrix pattern uh, and codes uh, and little icons along the bottom. So you use the Rocketbook app, you, you draw your, your stuff in pen in the notebook. Then using the Rocketbook app, you scan the page and each of these icons, depending on which one or ones you check, uh, it will send your drawing, your sketch, uh, to the cloud, either to Evernote or Dropbox, Google Drive, OneNote. Uh, it'll send it via email, a couple of other options that we'll look at when we get into the app in a sec. Um, so I, I want to mention for a sec that uh, there's a, I, I have kind of a unique use case with this in that um, pretty much every device I have right now has a pen. This is my phone. This is the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, it has a stylus because I can't be without a stylus apparently. I always need something to draw with. Um, but I don't necessarily want to do sketching on my phone while I'm on the road, you know, or while I'm on my lunch break. I don't necessarily always want to be staring at a screen. I also have this delightful thing, which I love. This is a Surface Pro 3. Um, Surface Pro 3 pen, Surface Pro 4 uh, type cover, and this is a beautiful, beautiful drawing tool, but it's not a very good sketching tool. One of the reasons for that is because it gets quite hot. Uh, the Surface Pro 3, uh, especially when it's running Photoshop or some of the other Adobe software that I like to, uh, to, to work in, it gets really warm, and it's not a super pleasant experience for just riffing and, and sketching and coming up with, uh, with new ideas. So I want a notebook solution um, that would very easily let me get my ideas from the page into uh, into the cloud so that I could then refine them on something like my Surface Pro in order to in order to turn them into a finished product so in the past I've used this this is the Evernote moleskin and I, I kind of live and breathe moleskin so this is a very similar idea uh, it's lined it's got this kind of dot matrix pattern and there's a sticker that you could put in the corner in order to uh, in order to send this to a certain Evernote notebook now this ended up not being used nearly as much as I thought it would be and the reason is very simple I don't like Evernote that much so we're gonna put this aside so then what's the difference between this, which has a dot matrix pattern and icons that help you sort your notes into notebooks, and this, which also has a dot matrix pattern and icons that help you sort your notes into notebooks? Um, well, that's the, the microwavable part, which I find kind of bananas. Uh, so the notion is you use one of these Pilot Friction Pens. It comes with a ballpoint one uh, with an eraser on the end. And these are uh, essentially, um, it uses heat sensitive ink. So the notion is that I can sketch and then put it in the microwave with a mug of water on top uh, and it will just magically erase all the pages. So I don't know how magic it's actually going to be. Uh, I want to show you something. Um, we, we backed the Kickstarter at the $50 level, which means that we got two notebooks. This is the standard size uh, at 8.5 by 9.5 inches. We, uh, at the $50 uh, US level, we got uh, a second one. This is my wife's, uh, and as you can see, she already tried to microwave it. The mug had some water on the bottom, and it actually damaged the front cover of her rocket book. This is the executive size. It's 5.8 inches by 8.9 so, inches. Not super psyched about that. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna have uh, a piece of paper towel or something between the book and the mug. Um, but it definitely says, place your wave into the microwave with the front facing up, then place the mug inside the blue circles near the center of your book. No suggestion that there needs to be a barrier method between a mug of water and the book. 
Now I've not used uh, these Pilot friction pens before. I am uh, very much a Sharpie pen kind of guy. But I'm gonna do a little sketch and then we're, we'll sync it and see how I feel about it. Okay, uh, yeah, all right, this, this pen's okay. Um, it writes fairly smoothly. Uh, I feel like it digs a little bit into the paper, um, which is something my wife observed as well. The eraser is okay. Um, it definitely works better once the ink has had a few seconds to totally dry. I don't, I don't like it as much as, um, oh, look at that. Look at that, some of the ink has already bled onto the preceding page. Um, yeah, I don't love the pen, um, but it's fine. It, it's a little light, weirdly enough. It's a little light and kind of cheap feeling for my personal taste. Um, let's check out the app quickly. So I've got two drawings here. I haven't identified either of them yet as being part of a particular notebook. So we've got the, the Rocketbook app. And it immediately jumps into this, uh, this mode where it's looking for a page. And it, it, it actually finds it really, really well. Um, now, uh, I don't want to send this note yet because I haven't actually, whoops, I haven't actually done the setup that I want to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the camera view. Oh, there we go. So I'm, I'm still learning the, the app as well. Uh, so I have one notebook already set up for a, a short film project I'm working on. This one I'm going to change it to a OneNote notebook as well. This one is going to go into the diamond. Okay, so let's go back to this mode and let's see how it works. So looking for page, bloop, it's captured, processing, that's fast man. Like it, that's, that's actually really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, send my unsent note to, so I guess I could do multiple and then send them all at the same time. So let's do that. Uh, and then this one, I want this to go to, oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you wanna do uh, a commission, um, head over to lovemakeshare.ca and check out that. I'm gonna make this a slightly more robust check mark just to make sure it all works. Looking for page, and there it is. Nope, there it is, nope. So yeah, that's pretty robust. Maybe a little finicky uh, at times. Like you really have to have the entire page uh, in the frame, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and send all my unsent notes uh, and we'll see if those show up in my, oh, there we go and it's finished sending already. So that was pretty quick. Let's uh, check back in with OneNote in a sec, and then we'll microwave my notebook, which is a phrase I never thought I'd say. Well, cool, this just showed up on my email. This is a nice high-res uh, scan of the notebook page. Uh, it's got none of the dots on it, and it has, it has the image, right? So that looks pretty good. This is something that I could then pull into Photoshop uh, and then do a proper paint on top of. All right, and in OneNote, my page is there. I'm trying to establish some best practices with lessons learned here. Uh, microwave is not super clean, so I've put down a clean towel, 
then the book, then a paper towel, and then my birthday mug three quarters full of water. So we're gonna do 30 seconds at a time, wait for the logo to turn white, and we'll see if it actually erases like magic. Okay, so the logo's white. Well, you know what, that's pretty cool. I see the... There's still some lines happening. That's interesting. I think a little bit more Look. microwaving and that would be good. Look, I see the thing of a banana. Yeah, there was a banana there. Could you draw a banana? Could I? Draw me. Yes, I will. Hold after the, after I'm done this the, little video. Hold, with a tiara. <laughs> sure. And a dress. Sure, sweetie. And high heels. A tiara, dress, and high heels. Anything else? Um, hmm. Sitting on a queen's chair. Sitting on a, a queen's chair. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, hmm, I don't know. Um, with puppy attached to my chair. Okay. Lying down like this. Sounds good. <laughs> you have pants on your head. All right, so just a quick recap and a couple more notes. So I threw this back in the microwave for another 45 seconds and check it out. The drawings are gone. There's still a bit of uh, the ghost of the drawings there. I don't know that they're ever necessarily gonna go away. Uh, it definitely, this is definitely gonna be a sketchbook rather than a place for finished products. But you know what, I think, I think I'm okay with that because that is the very specific the very specific need that this is gonna be fulfilling for me uh, in my workflow, you know? Between this and this, uh, and then my uh, Surface Pro, which I have put away for the moment, uh, I think this is gonna fit in really nicely. Um, now, as you heard, I have a request for a drawing, so I'm gonna do that uh, and just share a couple last thoughts. It is not, it's very, very cool, it is not quite as magical as I think I expected it to be. Oh, this is cool, look at this. So because the pages are still warm, uh, the ink is fading away a little bit as I put it on. Um, now in terms of price, so the, the Kickstarter price, uh, this, this ended up being worth about $25 US. Now, how does that compare to something else? Well, the, the Evernote notebook uh, runs about $32 Canadian. Um, now, that includes an Evernote premium subscription, but I don't like Evernote, so that's not a good value proposition. A regular moleskin, which is kind of my bread and butter, um, is about 26 bucks Canadian all on its own, and it's not connected. Now, I could use something like uh, the Office Lens app to dump it to, to um, OneNote, but I don't think I like that quite as much as the Rocketbook app. The Rocketbook app is surprisingly fast, and it is nice that it also comes with these funky little uh, notes, uh, the, these icons that you can encode right off the bat. Oh, shoot, I forgot the tiara. There we go, what else did she ask? She also asked for a dress, high heels, and the dog. All in all, I'm I'm impressed, uh, it, it seems to deliver on its promises more or less, and I'm really interested in using it more and figuring out how it actually fits into my workflow. Uh, I really, really like the size, I like the paper, it feels really good, it feels weighty, it feels like a premium product. Uh, so we'll see what happens with, uh, with the damage to my wife's notebook, and I will check back in with a fuller review later on. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool.